In this video, I want to continue my demonstration of customizing drawing templates. So first, I'm going to come over here to File Explorer, and I'll open my B in Sheet template by dragging and dropping it into SolidWorks. I'm going to click in white space, then I'm going to right click and I'm going to say Edit Sheet Format. And what I'd like to do is put a custom image here for my company logo. So I'm going to select the ribbon I have, and I'm just going to delete it. And I'll say yes, and I want to insert a new picture. To insert my new picture, I'm going to come up to the drop down menus. I'm going to select insert, and then I'm going to move down to picture. Once I've navigated to where the picture is located, I'm going to select the picture. So if I want a picture of my woodshed with a bit of wood in it, I'm going to select it and tell it to open. And then I can choose the resolution I want. I'm going to say low resolution. So next, I'm going to zoom to the extent so I can find my picture, and it's very large. I'm going to drag it over here. This isn't a problem. So I'm just going to grab a corner, and I'm going to resize it. Once again, I'll drag it close to where I want it. Zoom in on the corner, and I'll keep resizing the picture until it's the size I would like it. And then I'll just come over here to the Sketch Picture property windows and say OK. And as I did before, I'll stop editing the sheet, and then I'll save it. And I'll also say File, Save Sheet Format, navigate to the proper sheet. So I want to be careful it goes to the right folder. Choose the proper sheet if it didn't go. So I'm in the right folder now. I want to be careful it doesn't always go to the right folder. Chosen the proper sheet. I can see I have an ANSI B, ANSI B inch. I'm going to tell it to save that sheet format. Yes, I want to override it. And then I can close it. And that's how I add a custom picture to my title block.